Hey guys, uh, Coleman here, and uh, today actually I'm gonna do another Redstone video. Um, this one is a little different. It's actually the same lock as last time, but I uh, modified it. Cause I noticed when my comments said that you know a problem with it is, is that you can uh, click each button nine times and it would actually go through and accept it because technically there is no uh, there there is no nothing preventing it from going over nine digits. And uh, he was correct. So what I actually did was, um, this is the same thing. So, you know, passwords one, nine, five, two, three, uh, six, eight, four, seven, and then opens it up, and then auto resets. And that's how it is. So I'm gonna show you really quickly. Um, if if you guys don't remember the uh, the first lock, go ahead and check it out. Uh, the last video, link will be in the description. But I went from that, which is uh, this right here. This is pretty much what was last video. This part right here, and it was. Uh, with, but there was a reset right here. What I did is I added another one of these. But instead, what I did is I made it so each time you push a button, it sends a signal adding on to it, so you can only click nine digits. So if you look, I'll put in the wrong digit. Let's just do that. So if you see, I only got one of the digits right and I already put in four digits. So if I put in the other five, it'll notice that I got it wrong and reset it. Then what I did is I went ahead and added a uh, three strikes. So you have three tries until it locks you out. So that's the consequence system. So it, once, you get, once it notices you get it wrong, it goes over here and it adds a strike. And you have three strikes until it goes to this five minute and it locks you out for five minutes, which turns off these torches, preventing any buttons from going through. So pretty much uh, I set it up so once you know you have three strikes, like I said, it resets it. But even if you have two strikes, let's see, just put a random code in. Okay. So once you have that code in you know you have uh, two strikes once you have two strikes I made it so even if you get the code right what it'll do is instead of uh, adding another strike it'll reset all the strikes and what it'll do is it'll pr this piston will prevent this from adding another strike and then what it'll do is it'll reset it so this is pretty much what I added to it this is the final step but I really was not happy with this. I, I really thought it went from this really small, small, you know, nine nine digit code of lock to this big bulky thing. And, and I wanted to make it smaller. So what I did is I compacted enough to go from, I, I don't know the dimensions to this, but I added this much and it went from the original nine by nine by 20 to the new nine by 10 by 23. This right here is all of this and it keeps the dimensions but adds maybe five blocks so let's actually add that up so it does it goes two down one right there and then the second one is uh, down there right there and then so with glowstone we go so one two so one two three four five six seven eight nine which is the original dimension for the height then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is the width of the redstone, and then twenty-three wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, between one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So this is a nine by ten by twenty-three nine-digit coded lock with a auto reset system, a uh and a consequence system. So you have three tries until it does the uh, ten minute or five minute lockout. Um, and I think this is a big jump from my original. If you haven't seen the original video, like I said, it'll be in the description. Um, if you don't understand how this system works, um, I haven't really gone in great depth of it yet, but it is in fact, I explained it a little bit in the last video. So if you want to go check that out. But this is a big improvement. Um, when it comes to being compact, because when when trying to figure out how all this worked, it really it was something that took a while. And although it the video is only like two or three days after the other, this it, to me is a big 
like a big jump forward compared to the other one. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys, uh, I know I got like two tutorial um, people asking for tutorials last video. If you guys would like a tutorial on this or the original one, um, just go ahead and uh, put in the comments below, uh, message me, and uh, that's it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to watch my first two videos if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and like it. Uh, liking the video really does help me. <laughs> thank you guys. So, uh, um, subscribe, all that shenanigans, and I'll see you next episode.